up everybody, it's your boy C. Sams and this is That Comic Show. Matter of fact, it's That Comic Talk. This is a new segment that we're going to be trying out. We're going to be trying out a lot of segments just to see what really catches what people like to see. If you really like what you see, please comment below. Let us know what's going on. So, today's comic talk is basically going to talk about Thanos. Thanos, the Mad Titan that we just saw in Infinity War. But I want to give you a little bit of heads up. There will be some spoiler alerts in this particular video because we want to talk about Thanos and how he gives homage to the other villains of the MCU. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. So, first off. Thanos, where does he rank when we look at all the villains of the MCU? In my opinion, I think he's the greatest villain of all time. I think that he had enough time to build up his momentum. He's been sitting in the background, kind of watching everything unravel, unfurl, and now he came onto the big screen and he was menacing. He was the perfect depiction of how Thanos should look from the comic to a live action adaptation. I thought it was awesome in the way that they did it. However, we did see some other villains who did hold the king spot of the best villain of the MCU. So let's take a look at a few. First off, we gotta start with Loki, everybody's favorite villain. Loki first made his appearance in Thor, his first movie. He was actually there, he looked like he was his little brother and everything like that, very cowering, but we saw that he was the mastermind behind the entire plan of ruling Asgard and Jotunheim. He's a frost giant, he's the god of mischief, you can't trust him. We also see him again in Avengers. Avengers, he was the main antagonist, but he was also working for Thanos. He was supposed to destroy the Earth, and then he'll be able to rule the Earth as long as he gives that stone, the Tesseract, over to Thanos. That didn't happen, so he continued on his story. We see him again in Thor 2, where he's actually jailed up, locked up, and we see a lot more to his character. We see that he does have a soft side. He has a soft spot for Frigga, his mother-in-law. Well kind of like his mother. He has a soft spot for Frigga. We see all this stuff happening. He faked his death and he was running Asgard for a little bit. Then we saw him in Thor Ragnarok. There you go. Thor Ragnarok, we saw him and it looked like that he was going to be on the winning side and then he looked like he was going to still turn to the dark side. So much stuff with this character. He was so confusing. But in this particular movie, Avengers Infinity War, we saw an end to Loki. Loki's throat got crushed. Thanos destroyed Loki just to show that, yeah, this was the first Marvel Cinematic villain and I just ended him to show who I am and that I am supreme. That should say enough. The next villain that Thanos paid homage to was Red Skull. Red Skull, we saw in Captain America, the first Avenger. He was the main antagonist. This man actually found out how to use the Tesseract, how to tap into the power. As soon as he touched the Tesseract, the Tesseract sent him into space. He was considered to be one of the main villains of the MCU until he got shot into space, but he was considered to be one of the best villains as well. He was so evil that the Nazis rejected him. The Nazis. We see him shot out into space and we didn't see him throughout the entire time of the MCU. And we finally see him in this particular movie. He is the ghost presence that we see in Volmir. When Thanos and Gamora is in Volmir to get the Soul Stone, here is the cursed one, Red Skull. And Red Skull is talking to Thanos and Thanos has a certain respect for the Red Skull and the Red Skull has a respect for Thanos. Kind of saying that yeah, I was the villain, but it's all good because guess what? You're the new villain, and it looks like that you can now hold the mantle as being the number one villain in the MCU. And that was the way that this movie took the time to pay homage to the two villains that held it down for 10 years, Loki and Red Skull. If you think something different, please comment below. Let us know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can know when we drop new stuff. This is your boy Sam's. This is That Comic Show, and this is That Comic Talk. Sam's out. Thank you.